This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine, fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it, just look at some of the 600 plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says, well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. Hello everybody and good evening and welcome to that football for the North London derby. It's Tottenham entertaining Arsenal in what will be a massive game tonight. There's no, there's nowhere to hide. Well, there is. You could hide in the cupboard. But there, this is a massive game. In fact, it's such a big game. I've got something I want to say. Four points between them. Three games left. Two massive North London derbies. And one fourth place spot up for grabs. I said derbies instead of rivals. But uh, you know what I mean. It is it is exciting. It's down to the uh, community and support that you give. The cross comes in. It's a back post and it's gone for a goal. He's given a penalty. A penalty. He's given a penalty. It's a penalty to Spurs. It looks a bit soft. But it's a penalty to Spurs. Mr. Whippy. It looked soft. The cross came in. Somebody went down. Penalty for Spurs. VAR will look at it. I don't know what they're moaning about. It's not the keeper who's going to change. It's not that. Cross comes in. Ooh, I don't know whether it. I don't know whether it will get overturned. It's soft. It's softer than a an ant's fart in cotton wool. It really doesn't look like a penalty to me. It's basically a bit of a shoulder barge. But they won't overturn it. I'll never do a show with Goldstein, Paul. Goldstein called me a Forest fan on Twitter, so I called him out. So there you go. Talk shit. You know, he never apologised for it either. That's not a penalty, Rabbit says. I don't think it's a penalty. I mean, I'm happy it's a penalty, but if you're Arsenal, I'm going to be absolutely honest. He always goes to the left, Harry Kane. Um, if you're Arsenal, I want Spurs to win to make it more exciting. But if that... Ha I, I always watch football in the way that if that happened to my team, if that happened to Manchester United and we conceded a penalty like that, I'd go absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. But it's never going to get overturned because it's not... Um, what do they say? It's not clear and obviously a mistake, but it's basically a shoulder barge that they're given a penalty for. Harry Kane scores! He goes the other way. Ramsdale went to the right. Harry Kane went to the left. Or if you're watching it from behind, Harry Kane went to the right and Ramsdale went to the left. It's 1-0. I'm Harry Bain. I scored a goal against Arsenal. Sit down, Arteta. It's 1-0. It's 1-0. It's Harry Kane. And the Spurs take the lead. And I tell you what, for the good of the game, for the good of the game, unless you're an Arsenal fan, it opens the game up because Spurs need to win. And Arsenal need to stop them winning. And... It's the best goal for the game. Because if Arsenal score, they sit in, knowing that Spurs have got to score twice. Now, Arsenal need to open up. And it's 1-0 to Spurs. Game up. He's going to... Oh, he... Kane! Still Kane! Still Kane! Great block. Tommy Asu. Emerson Royale. Oh, he got excited. He got too excited. Lovely run by Kane. I think Arteta has done well, but don't want Arsenal to finish fourth just to see how you see. We did... Um, there's a red card! A red card for Arsenal! Oh my God! This is amazing! I think it's holding gone. Second yellow card. Red card for Arsenal. Panic is on the way. Red card, Arsenal. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong here. The referee ain't taking any shit. I've got to be honest. In a North London derby, I don't want to see a red card after half an hour. But this game is turning very bad for Arsenal very quickly. 
Let's have a look. It's a ball by Dyer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's an idiot. He's an absolute idiot holding. He's uh, He's been physical on Son all game. He, but he's just an idiot. He's just an absolute idiot. I'd give it... I mean, potentially it's a straight red anyway. Because he barges into him with his arm up. I don't know whether he connects with his face. But um, on a yellow card, to do something like that... What a complete prat. Holding is a prat. The first one, he deserved the yellow card. And then the second one, Son makes a run and he just puts his arm up like that and barges into him. Clear as day. Yellow card. Sent off. What a prat. If you're an Arsenal fan, you need to call him out. Because he's a bloody idiot. Terrible for United. Harry Kane. How can he be onside? I think he is onside. And it's 2-0 to Spurs and Arsenal are being battered here they belong in a fish shop fish and chip shop in a load of oil with a bit of flour around them because they're being battered 2-0 Harry Kane he's got two goals Harry Kane this will be hurting Arsenal fans this will be really hurting Arsenal fans because Harry Kane is not the player they want to be scoring he's onside he doesn't look like... Ah, oh, it's, it's a bad mistake. It's a bad mistake. Is it Enketier? He plays everybody on, I think. And Harry Kane's there just to head it home. Now, it, now Zane, now I would say it's very difficult for, Spurt, for Arsenal to get back in. 1-0. Hold it together for a bit. Maybe the last 10 minutes you throw caution to the wind and try and get a draw. 2-0. Arsenal down to 10 men. It's looking very, very difficult now. Of course, I don't know what I don't know what the goal difference situation is as well. You've got to start looking at that. Pre-game. Goal difference. Well, Arsenal's goal difference is nowhere near Spurs. Absolutely nowhere near. Oh, Kane! Goal for Spurs! It's Son straight away at the start of the half. I thought he might be given a penalty again. But Arsenal are well and truly collapsing here. It's Son and it's live and it's three and it's game over. And Arsenal are in the shit. Arteta looks absolutely deflated here. There'll be no way back now, Zane. There'll be no way back for Arsenal here. It's a humiliating defeat. It's not the end of their top four hopes, but it puts pressure on them at a time where they don't want pressure. I mean, to be honest with you, I thought it could have been a penalty on Harry Kane there by uh, by Gabriel, I think it is. He's all over him in the box. Could easily have been a penalty. He finds its way to Son. And lovely finish by Son as well. It's a crowded dressing room. A, a crowded uh, penalty box, sorry. And he just sort of places it lovely into the, to into the top, well, not the top corner, but into the goal. Lovely goal. Conte's loving it. Where'd you get all that hair from, Conte? His wig is really good. Really good. Because it's like a long wig. But it's 3 0. Uh, Dean says, I've never missed a watch along and I won't be missing the talk sports show tomorrow. Three hours I'll be live tomorrow. 10 o'clock at night till 1 o'clock in the morning. Talk sport YouTube channel or radio. Goldbridge presenting a show. I'm putting more pressure on myself by getting. Anyway, it's over. It is 2-3, 3-0 to Spurs. And uh, it's a big win for Spurs. If Arsenal had a won tonight, they would have confirmed fourth place because they would have been seven points clear. If they'd got a draw, they'd have had a massive, massive hold on fourth place because they'd have been four points clear still with two games to go. They're now one point clear with two points to get two games to go. And they go away to Newcastle on Monday night where they're basically going to have to win, I think. Otherwise... They're going to open the door to Spurs. Conte's got a smile on his face. They've got Burnley at home on Saturday, Sunday. Win that, put pressure onto Arsenal, see what happens. What do you think about Arsenal's performance, says Jay? I think, ultimately, Holding and Cedric cost them the game. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Um, I don't think Arsenal did a lot wrong. It was Holding and Cedric. They were doing all right before that. 
That's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.